This is part 12 of Angular 2 tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss CSS class binding in Angular with examples. Let's flip to Visual Studio. This is the same project that we have been working with so far in this video series. Within the styles.css, I'm going to delete all these existing styles and include three simple style classes. So we've got a bold class, italics class, and a color class. And then within our root component, which is app.component.ts, I'm going to include a button element. And I'm going to use the class attribute of the button element to set a CSS class. So let's set this color class. And remember, this styles.css file is already referenced within our index.html. At the moment, we are not using any form of Angular class binding. We have used the class attribute to set a CSS class to this button element. So with all these changes, let's run our application by pressing Ctrl F5. Notice we have the color class applied for the button element. At this point, let's launch Browser Developer Tools by pressing F12. Click on the Elements tab. Let's expand my app and notice the class attribute of the button element color class is added to it as expected. Notice at the moment we have hard coded the class name within the view template HTML. Instead what we want to do is bind to a property within our component class. So first let's create a property within our component class. I'm going to call this classes to apply and this is going to be of type string. And here we can specify one or more classes that we want to add to the button element. If you want to specify multiple classes, then separate them by a single space character. And if you look at this styles.css, we want to add bold class and italics class to the button element. So I'm going to include both those classes separated by space as a value for this property. And now we want to bind to this property within our app component class. So to do that, I'm going to use the class word here and then I'm going to include that in a pair of square brackets. This is how we tell Angular that we want to use class binding and we want to bind to this property. So within quotes, we're just going to specify that property name. Let's save these changes and reload our web page. Notice it has removed the color class but added italics class and bold class. To confirm this, let's look at the generated HTML. Look at the class attribute of the button element. We have the italics class and bold class added, but we don't have the red class here, which we have added using the class attribute of the button element. So use this form of class binding to replace all the existing CSS classes with another set of one or more classes. Now let's look at another example. If you ever want to add or remove a single CSS class, then you can use a slightly different variation of class binding. Let's look at that in action. Now let's include two break elements after the button element. And let's make a copy of this button element. And within our app component class, I'm going to include another property. I'm going to call this apply bold class and this is going to be of type boolean and I'm going to set it to true for now. That means we want to apply the bold class and here I'm going to use a slightly different variation. I'm going to use this word class and then use dot and then the name of the CSS class that I want to add or remove. So in this case we want to add or remove the bold class. So I'm going to specify that class right here and then I'm going to bind this to this property of our app component class. So if the value of this property is true then this class bold class will be added to the button element and another important point to keep in mind is it will not remove the existing CSS class. So in addition to the color class it's also going to add this bold class. So let's save all these changes and reload our web page. Look at the second button element. Both color and bold classes are applied. And to prove that, if you look at the second button element right here, look at the class attribute. We have the color class as well as the bold class. On the other hand, 
if we set this property to false or if we remove this property altogether then this bold class is not added to the button element so let's save our changes and reload this web page one more time notice now the bold class is not added to the button element and we can confirm that by looking at the class attribute right here only color class is added but not the bold class with class binding we can also use exclamation symbol to specify negation at the moment apply bold class property is false and within the class binding I'm going to use exclamation right here so apply bold class is false we have another false here denoted by the exclamation symbol false false becomes true so in this case bold class will be applied let's reload this web page notice the second button text is bolded and if we look at the generated HTML we have the bold class added with this style of class binding we can also remove an existing CSS class let's prove this now using the class attribute let's add all the three classes to the button element color class italics class and bold class for a moment let's remove this class binding from here let's save our changes and let's reload this web page now we expect all the three classes to be added to the second element notice here we have the color class italics class and bold class all three applied to this button element now let's try to remove this bold class using class binding so at the moment we have this apply bold class property set to false let's remove this exclamation from here so we expect the bold class to be removed let's reload our web page right here one more time notice the second button element the bold class is removed as expected so this variation of class binding works great if we want to add or remove a single CSS class but if we want to add or remove multiple CSS classes then we can make use of ng class directive provided by angular let's look at this in action now so the first thing that I'm going to do is within our app component class I'm going to create another property I'm going to call this apply italics class and let's set both these properties to true and I'm going to create a function here I'm going to call it add classes and within the function let's create a variable and to create a variable I'm going to use the let keyword now we can also use the var keyword to create the variable but using let is going to help us avoid some of the issues that we run into when we use var there are several differences between let and var we'll discuss that in a later video but for now understand let is another way of declaring variables in javascript and i'm going to name our variable classes that is the list of classes that we want to add or remove and i'm going to initialize this to contain an object and this object is going to have key value pairs so the first key value pair is going to have the key as the name of the CSS class that we want to add or remove so we want to add or remove this bold class so that's going to be the key here and the value for this is going to be whatever value we have in this property so I'm going to use that property this dot apply bold class similarly the next key value pair is going to contain you know another name of the CSS class in our case it's italics class and the value for this is the value that we have in this property apply italics class and then finally we want this function to return whatever we have in this variable so let's return what we have in our classes variable and now let's make a copy of this button so let's include two break elements right here and then another button element and then so we want to use the class attribute to add the color class but we are going to use the ng class directive and then bind that to this add classes method so 
So at the moment, we have only added the color class using the class attribute. And since the values of these two properties are true, bold class and italics class should also be added to the button element. So let's save all our changes and reload our web page. Let's look at the generated HTML for our last button. Notice in addition to the color class, we also have the bold class and italics class added. Now let's say we want to add the bold class but not the italics class. To achieve that, all we have to do is change the value of this property to false. Let's save the changes, reload our web page one more time. And if we look at the generated HTML, notice only the bold class is applied but not the italics class. And here we have that example which we just discussed. Thank you for listening and have a great day.